That gun salute signaled the commencement of the presidential inauguration, guided by precision and officialdom. Nigeria's president was among many other heads of state who acknowledged Beninoy's commitment to entrenching democracy. We are extremely grateful uh, to the government and people of Benin because um, although they were not um, you know, members of the uh, Chad Basin Commission uh, of the Multinational Joint Task Force, but nevertheless they um, insisted on joining because they wanted to um, together to show solidarity um, with Nigeria in the fight against Boko Haram. And, um, and they really have been extremely uh, cooperative and made um, tremendous sacrifices uh, for our common sub-region. Nigeria's charity affairs, Beatrice Ikeku Thomas, promised to boost trade and cultural ties with Benin Republic. We are one, just is the boundary the border that divides us, but we are one. Former Nigeria's ambassador to Benin Republic, Lawrence Ubishaki, lauded Nigeria's efforts towards a successful election. Nigeria was about the only African country that gave physically towards the organization of the election. The election that brought Patrice Talon into power was contested by 39 candidates. The inauguration also is taking place in Port Novo because this is the political capital of the country, while Cotonou is the economic capital. From Port Novo, Gabriel Odu, NTN News.